Hi guys, welcome back to Calitz River Restoration. This is Sarah and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step, how I give this super vintage old desk basically just a spit shine so that I can flip it in the marketplace. This desk is from 1916. It is over a hundred years old and it's got some wear. It also had a bunch of wax spilled all over the seat. So I used that razor blade to scrape that wax off. I use razor blades quite a bit to scrape a lot of things off. I then used some sandpaper to sand off the rusted areas on the feet so that I could paint them over and hopefully get a smoother finish. Vacuum that off and then I wiped it down really good with a wet rag. After giving it a quick wipe down, I went over all of the wood areas with my orbital sander and a 180 grit sandpaper. Pretty lightly, just enough to get some of that previous finish off and to just break through some of that wear and tear to get it down to more of a bare wood so that I can apply stain. I didn't go too deep into the wood because I knew that I was going to do kind of a weathered feel with a black wash over my stain. So just stay tuned and you'll see how it transforms. After getting it sanded down to where I wanted it, I wiped it all down again before I put on my stain. I had forgotten to sand down that little broken piece on the seat. I sanded that down, wiped it down, and now it's ready for stain. I used a special walnut. When staining things that have like nooks and crannies, I like to take them apart so that I can stain within the seam so that when they're placed back together, you can't see any of the previous color showing through. I wanted it to be, I know there's seams, but I want it to be kind of seamless in the fact that it all looks stained the same color. I'm just using the dip and wipe technique where I dip my cloth into my stain and then wipe it onto the wood that I'm staining. After I was done with that, I used a chalkboard paint that I had and I did a dry brushing technique. I literally just get the tips of my bristles damp with my product and then I just brush it back and forth and sometimes I use a rag to kind of smear it together to give it kind of a weathered wood look. I've had people ask me before if I burned the wood to make it look that way, but no, it is not burnt. I use paint. The black wash over the stain gives it kind of a rustic feel that I really like. Don't mind the fact that I have a bunch of sawdust in my hair. As far as this technique goes, there's really no right or wrong answer. You just do it according to your own eye. I gave the top of the desk a little wipe down to make sure it was clean before putting more paint on. But again, it's just very lightly. You don't put a lot of product on your brush. You're gonna put a little bit on and then work it in, put it on, work it in. And it's, again, just completely up to your eye. If you get too much in one place, you could try to wipe it with the rag. You could even try to sand it down a little bit if you get it too heavy in certain places. No right or wrong answer. I did underneath also, but the camera angles and trying to do it myself just didn't work out great as far as my camera angle and getting a good shot. So I then put it up on top of sawhorses so that I could paint the base. I wiped the base down really good and vacuumed it. And then I used that same chalkboard paint to, as a primer for the base. And I did two coats of that chalkboard paint on the base as a primer. I'm using a Woodster angle brush as per usual to get into all those nooks and crannies. And I'll tell you what, with this piece, there were a lot of nooks and crannies. I had to continuously eyeball it to make sure I was getting everything. I used Min Wax Soft Touch Finishing Wax to seal the tops of all of the wood that I refinished. I'm starting to run low on this product and cannot for the life of me find more. So I will probably be switching to another product for finishing up my wood for a while or maybe I'll find more or maybe I won't, whatever. So I'm using a wax brush to apply this and I just put a thin layer on all over the areas that I refinished that are wood. And there's my dog Zeus making a guest appearance on our show today. He is a Bernese Mountain Dog. He is six years old and he's my buddy. You will probably see him quite a bit throughout my shows because he follows me around all day.
Once the chalkboard base was dry, I went over the base again with a flat black paint by Rust-Oleum. Now this paint says flat black, but in my experience, it usually goes on a little more of a satin, which is fine. I know that about this paint, so it doesn't bother me a bit. If I wanna make it a little more matte, I'll usually go over it with a finishing wax or a black wax, which I've had good luck with. But with this, since I did two of the chalkboard coats and I had mixed that chalkboard paint with a polyacrylic sealer, I went ahead and just went over it with the Rust-Oleum and called it good. So that was my before and this is it after. I think it turned out really nice. It has a really cool, primitive, rustic feel to it. And I'm gonna try to flip it in the marketplace. So thank you so much for checking out my short tutorial on how I spit shined this little piece. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I hope that we'll get to see you next time at Calitz River Restoration. Have a great day, bye.